You're watching Bet Republic TV with me, James Eastham, and Steve Clarge. And next up, we've got the game between the Republic of Ireland and France. Um, looking at the prices on this game, Steve, I was a little bit surprised that the bookies make the French such strong favourites to win away in Ireland. Does that surprise you? Well, six to four is probably a little bit too skinny for them, isn't it? Mm. I, it just it, it depends what France turns up. Because they're an unpredictable side these un days. Is, not as good is, as the is, players they've got. Oh, absolutely. You, you're scratching your head wondering why. I mean, they're not particularly strong defensively now. Mm. You do scratch your head wondering why they, uh, why they've struggled in, in recent times. It's Mr. Dominic. Yeah, of course. I mean, that, you've got good players, bad results, underachievement. There's only one way you can look, and that is towards the manager. And that, that just shows how important a manager yeah. can be. There's no doubt Absolutely about Absolutely right. Talking of managers, Mr. Chabatoni on the other hand, has done a fantastic oh, job, hasn't he? Marvellous. You look at their team, and you know they, 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 they simply shouldn't be competitive at this level. And uh, he, they, they, he squeezed every little ounce out of that side. They're well organised. They've got great balance. They've got great shape. They all know their jobs. Um, and they all look as if they're comfortable in what they're doing. And uh, you know, for so long, I think you know, the Republic of, of probably in recent times probably expected a little bit too much, mm. you know, and, and this isn't going to quell that expectation, is mm. it, the way they perform? But no, he's done a marvellous, marvellous job there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the prices on the game, uh, as we say, favour France. The French are 6-4 to four to win away in Ireland. The Irish are around 11-5 to five with a draw at 9-4. to four. Would you be looking to oppose the French then, Steve? I think, yes, 66% of me says yes. Because 66% of me says that they're not going to play particularly well. Mm. You know, the, the, the problem is the 33% that says they might turn up and they might actually turn, turn it on. Yeah. yeah, so there, there is question marks about this game. This is, this is a volatile game simply because you have the best team, but we don't know what we're going to get from them. Mm. And I think, uh, I said before, Republic of Ireland will set a standard. We know that Republic of Ireland will play a certain way mm. and will play well. The problem is if France play well. Mm. And if they do, then France will probably win the game. If they don't, and the Republic are going to be more than a match for them. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a strange team of French. Henri, Anelka, Benzema, they're all there. Ribéry is out. An unbalanced look to them, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Top heavy, aren't they? Absolutely right. And if you think that uh, Gallas is easily their best centre-half, then it shows you they've got problems at the back. Well, we think the Irish can get something out of this game. We're back in the draw at a price of 9-4. to four. And our second bet is on André Pierre Gignac. He's the uh, rising star of French football. He was the top scorer in the French league last season with 24 goals. He's also got four goals in his first eight caps. So that's a speculative goal scorer bet. He's available at five to two, but we do recommend you wait for team news because there's such competition for places in the French attack. 